This is the CSEC Mathematics, May 2024, question 7. Now, it says the diagram below shows the first four diagrams in a sequence of regular hexagons. Each regular hexagon is made using sticks of unit length. You should complete the diagram below to represent diagram 5 in the sequence of regular hexagons. So this is the diagram below. Alright, I have copied this over here. So here you have diagram 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's study the pattern and then complete the fifth diagram. Now, if you look at this, you see that you have in diagram one, you have a hexagon here and one directly at the top and one to the right. Okay. In diagram two, you have the original so these are the original ones. These were there originally. Right? But you have these two new ones. These are new. You have one new one directly above the one on the right. And then one to the right. So you see, these three would look like the original. Alright? But these three were originally the hexagons. Then you added these two. Now, look at this one. You see that you have these are like not that let me label them you have these two originally there all right you have the one to the right which was like this one you stack one at the top just like that and one to the right. What did you add? You added one at the top of the one to the right. This was this. And you added one on top of it. So it's like you put one on top here. And then one to the right. Which is right here. You study the pattern. You see that. Let me get rid of this marker. Which I'll put around it. Then, after this, you go to diagram 4. See, if you look at diagram 4, the ones you're looking at are this and this. Right? You have this one and this one. It's like these two. And you have two stacked, one on top of the other, this and this. And you have two stacked one on top of the other. That's this and this. And you have one to the right, which is this. Then the one to the extreme right. Right? The one on the right. You stack one on top of that. And then you put one in the corner here to the right. Now look at this. You see that <coughs> in order to fill this out, diagram one. You have this diagram, which is actually this one. You're supposed to have one on top of this, which is this. I had drawn and copied some hexagons to use. Here they are. So I'm going to fill 
the space. Ah, there we are. So what we have? These two, which are like these two. These two stacked one on top of the other. These two stacked one on top of the other. Alright, so we have row, row, I mean, column, 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 three of them so far. Column, column, column. Oh, I see this one here, which is this. But this one on top of it is missing from this space. So let's move one of these hexagons and fill in this space. Now you see that we now have it and this one to the right good so this diagram and this they look the same however we need to continue the pattern you're supposed to now have one on top of this one this one is this one you know you're supposed to have one on top of it all right so we move this and put right on top of it good and then one to the right you're supposed to have one to the right by itself with not no other hexagon on top of it so i move this hexagon and fill the space in so that is the diagram remember now those hexagons with one on top of the other have one set two three four five sets so those on top of the other you have one set in diagram one and one two sets in diagram two and one two three sets in diagram three and one two three four sets in diagram four then one two three four five sets of them in diagram five and then the single one to the right you have it here okay so that is that so you completed diagram 5 what happened later on okay so we have part b let us look at part b in the next video